Let's draw coffee. Hello and welcome to the coffee edition of Go Go Mock Rocket Sheep. We're going to draw easy, medium, and hard mode coffee because coffee is amazing. Uh, but before we get to that, let's take a look at the drawings that you sent in last week. So for easy mode coffee, we're going to be drawing uh, three different kinds of coffee. First is a mug of coffee, the second is a to-go cup of coffee, to-go, that's hard to say, to-go cup of coffee, and the third is one of those frappuccinos. So, uh, the first, a mug of coffee, very simple, you start with an oval, you bring those lines down, you make a little line that mirrors this line right here, down here, and then you do a line that mirrors this line right here. You color that part in, and then you add a little handle, and then you put whatever kitschy slogan you want on your mug. There. So simple. Uh, second, a to-go cup. We start with an oval, and then we're gonna bring it down at a slight angle like that, and then we're gonna mirror this curve again. Rip, rip. Then you do a little bump like this, a little bump, and then we're gonna mirror that curve. Nice. Then you bring a line from here, down like that, down like that, and then mirror this curve right here. Then you gotta put the sleeve on there. Like that. And we just mirror this curve again. They're all the same curve, and that way it kind of looks sort of pseudo 3D. It's good. And then you cross hatch that. Nice. Uh, and then you need the little sip hole, and then the little sturdies. There you go. That's a to go cup of coffee. And then for a frappuccino, we're gonna start with our oval, and then you're gonna make this into a dome like that, and then you put a hole in the top, and you can put some whipped cream on there and make it look like a cloud. And then, same thing that we did right here on this cup, I'm gonna build a little bump. This one is transparent, and it has these little upside down square U's around the edge, because it sort of like flexes the plastic. Then it comes down, like so. Then we mimic this curve, Put a logo of your favorite coffee uh, place on the front of the cup there. And then you need a straw that goes like this. Okay, and then of course the straw is going to be obscured when it's down there. Basically, that is how you draw a regular cup of coffee, a to-go cup of coffee, and a frappuccino. I tend to draw pretty fast when I draw, and that isn't always a good thing. Sometimes it's good to really slow down and take your time to make things look exactly the way that you want, but also you get faster over time, so it's kind of this crazy toss up. Okay, there is my easy mode coffee. Medium, medium mode. mode. For medium mode, I thought it might be fun to draw one of my cartoon characters uh, hanging out at a coffee shop, just drinking a coffee. So to do that, we start by drawing a table. And I always like to draw the props that a person or a character is going to be interacting with first before I add the character to the scene. So that's pretty easy. I start with an oval, drop it down, make it 3D, build the stand, and then like that, right? And then on this side, we're going to draw a little chair. So I'm going to do a skewed rectangle. Comes down, like that, one leg two legs, three legs, four legs. Then you gotta build the back of the chair, which I think is gonna be one pillar in the middle with just a little rectangle like that. Maybe two pillars, something like that. Pretty simple, right? Okay, then for drawing my character, I'm gonna draw my character Charlie, which has starts with a circle here, and then another circle there. That's his head, 
I'll zoom in so you can see a bit better. Then you bring the body down. And Charlie's body is just a tube. And then he's got legs which go under the table. So one leg comes up like this and down. Little pointy shoe. Either leg comes up like this on the other side of the table. There we go. Then uh, T-shirt goes like this. His hand is going to be right here. And I always draw the hands first and then connect it to the arms later. So draw the thumb. One, two, three for fingers, because I only draw three fingers. And then there's the mug. Then you got to add the sleeve like that, which is just, uh, it comes out of his neck, protrudes down, that's the shoulder right there. And then the arm is going to go like this, bloop, like that. And on this side, we're going to do the same thing, sleeve down, and then the arm is going to be on this side. But you can't really see it from that angle. Then you add the ear right here, and a nose, an eye, a smile, and uh, there you have it. I have literally drawn Charlie sitting at a table drinking coffee, I don't know, probably 20 times over the years, and so I can go pretty fast on it. But the main thing I wanted to demonstrate in this medium mode is how you can take a really messy, really basic sketch layer and just take the time to color it and ink it and it looks pretty good. All right, that is my medium mode coffee. Just uh, my character, Charlie, who I actually haven't, I don't really usually color uh, Charlie, but that's okay. Um, my normal comic character, Charlie, having a coffee, medium mode. Hard, Hard. There's my hard mode coffee painting. About as much time as I have for that. Um, it's kind of fun to, again, try digital paints and different things. As you can see, I did the latte pattern on the top using, uh, you know, I cheated because I used the, it's not really cheating, but I used the digital uh, transform tool to draw it flat and then skew it to the proper perspective, which was, it's a huge advantage to drawing digitally, all these little tools and stuff that you can do. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please send me your drawings if you drew along. I'd love to see them and put them in next week's video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.